So guys, I just recorded that video. It was 15 minutes long, but guys, here, we are doing more Mike Racer, guys. Uh, hi guys, welcome to another video here, and here, I'm doing more my career, and this is the SummerSlam match. And guys, if you didn't watch the other episode before, you gotta watch this. We actually facing the Miz in a, in a ladder match, but this is the lights, camera, action ladder match. So guys, if you didn't watch the other episode, actually go and watch that. We actually got the starring role in a movie, so yes, very weird. And no, we are not getting a Money in the Bank briefcase. That is actually the starring role of Rank and File 4. So, oh, but no, grabbing a ladder. But no, look at Trey bringing a chair into the ring. But no, attacking the Miz right on the head. Oh my god, just the impact. He's thinking the ring can't contain going under the here. ring. What the heck? No, he's grabbing he's another ladder. We already have one chair in this match. Now two ladders. But no, what the... Grabbing a third ladder. Why do you need that, Trey? Why do you need that? Oh my god, Nellius Miz trying to get the starring role in rank and file four. But no, the Miz could be in trouble. Oh my god, look at the punches right to the back of the Miz. Oh my god, now this. Miz on yellow health. Yellow, yellow body damage. Oh my god, it's taking him down. Now this getting the Miz up. Now this. Oh my god, what are you doing in the corner? Oh, what a kick. Look at the punches. Heck? Who is it? What the heck? Brooklyn Von Braun here tonight at SummerSlam, distracting Trey. What the? But he's red! Attacking Brooklyn Von Braun! Oh my god, just taking her out, but the Miz is up. Oh my god. Oh my god, but Trey still distracted. The Miz. But no, through the ropes! Oh my god! Oh my god. Sorry, Michael. Let me get back to your question about what the heck? I don't think we'll see Trey could win this match right now. He could still have this to. leading role in rank and file four, but no, the Miz is up. Oh my god. What the heck? The Miz is going up. But no, look at this. Oh, the punches by the Miz. This could be it. But no, the punch by Trey. This could be it for the Miz. Oh my God! Right on the two ladders. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's halfway from getting that briefcase down with the contract inside for the starring role of rank and file four. Oh my God. Oh my god, what a kick! He's going down again! He wants to get a starring role. He has to do whatever he's got to do, but has Trey got it? Trey has retained! He has got back the starring role of rank and file four! Oh my god, a quick match here at SummerSlam. Oh my god. Oh my god, what a victory. Now look at this. We are doing... Being WWE video game, we've already done that? How? Okay. This, that is what we have done so far, guys. Wind Dusty Classic. So am I going back to NXT? Interesting. Let's see what is next for WWE 2K20 My Career Mode. And guys, it would actually be great if you could check out my Instagram at IT the King. I'm a living legend, oh. Oh! Oh, look what we have unlocked. Bat 2, the tripod, the sledgehammer 2, and kendo stick 2. Oh my god. Let's see what's next on my career mode. 
Oh my god, we have finished that chapter. Let's see what is in this chapter. Oh my god, and this chapter will be iconic. Oh my god. Look at this, there are they, the Iconics, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. And they are there on SmackDown Live. And there are some cricket bats behind. Guys, now we're here doing uh, back on my career. Let's talk to Red. Hey, thanks for the assist out there. And by the way, now that I've officially got the part again, it's not too late for me to pull some strings and get you a role. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. All right. Well, the door's open if I'm back for rank and file five. Although I heard our truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star, and it's under strong consideration, so we'll see. Oh, by the way, I left tickets for my real parents again. No luck, though. Still doing that, huh? Yep. And who knows? Maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah. I guess. Hey, before you go out for your match, you mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Thanksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Busy night for you, huh? I mean, if I were defending my title against an opponent like me, I might be just a little more focused on my match. Don't worry. I'm more than capable of helping a friend out and beating you in the same night. Well... While you've been off auditioning for movies and getting in fights with your old high school bully, I've been training for our match. You see, it's become a bit personal for me. You might even say I feel disrespected by your attitude. It's like everything's easy for you, huh? You show up in WWE and just waltz your way to the top? Well, that makes me angry. Didn't you do the exact same thing? <laughs> not even close. You're right. It's not the same. Because I didn't have a famous dad to help me get here. I've earned everything I have. There it is again. Disrespect. And speaking of that, beating me is not even on your list as far as I can tell. I only put my goals on there, not things I expect to do. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, after tonight, you'll have a new goal to put on your list. Take back the Raw Women's Championship from Charlotte Flair. here back doing career and there are the iconics they are the wwe women's tag team champions guys with assist mode enabled grappling strong style strong strike attacks sometimes start by lifting the opponent to seated or standing so guys let's get on to this summer slam match one fall it is for the WWE Raw Women's Championship. And introducing first, she is the WWE Raw Women's Champion, Red.
her net. She is the Queen Charlotte Flair. So guys, let's get on to this one-on-one -on -one match for the WWE Raw Women's Championship. I felt disrespected by Red, especially considering Red did not put beating Charlotte on her last Oh jeez, guys, I'm blowing up a boy. He's great. Oh my god, Red hitting that elbow drop right on the chest of Charlotte. Who's already imposing enough without extra motivation. It's kind of similar to bulletin board material in sports when a player talks trash and provides some extra incentive for their opponent. Look at this! Elbow drop! Charlotte not in a great way here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. She's flipped the switch and the light is on. Charlotte Flair's natural ability in the ring is second to none. And you can imagine that's going to be an integral part of her winning this match. Absolutely, Byron. The Queen wasn't just born into this business. She was born into greatness. And she'll no doubt show that tonight. But she'd be smart not to just focus on her athleticism, but also implement some power moves. If there's one thing people underestimate about Charlotte, it's her power game. To the outside, which will start the referee's count. Back in from the floor. The smartest thing a young star can do is learn from a veteran. And Charlotte has the best in the wrestling business. The nature boy, Ric Flair. If you're lucky as a rookie, you can bend the ear of a trainer or a visiting legend for a few minutes. But Charlotte has had 30 years to learn from her father. Look out. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. should face tonight. Oh, right to the back. Just sending a message there. What a shot. Charlotte turns it around. Nice move. Oh, she turns it around. Nice step up in Zagari. Right in her ear. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Great officiating as the rep noticed she was on the ropes. Champion into the cover. One, two, How did she kick out? She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Charlotte with a fantastic counterattack. That's why she's the queen. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here.
Hey, thanks for the assist out there. And by the way, now that I've officially got the part again, it's not too late for me to pull some strings and get you a roll. I think I'm cool with sitting this one out. All right. Well, the door's open if I'm back for rank and file five. Although I heard R-Truth pitch the producers on making it an office drama with him as a star, and it's under strong consideration, so we'll see. Oh, by the way, I left tickets for my real parents again. No luck, though. Still doing that, huh? Yep. And who knows? Maybe if they're not WWE fans, then they'll see me in the movie. Can't hurt. Yeah, I guess. Hey, before you go out for your match, you mind signing my script? <laughs> sure. May you always have a happy Thanksgiving. See? It is catching on. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Continue the story of WWE 2K20, my career mode, chapter 12. If a superstar runs in on your match, be prepared. You can stop them by hitting a finisher or inflicting enough damage. So guys, let's get on to this. WWE 2K20, my career mode, chapter 12. Can you believe they're all the way up to rank and file seven now? No, I can't. I thought they would have stopped making them after your performance. Wow. Didn't realize this was a roast. No, it's just that you definitely had some interesting priorities earlier in your career. First, it was the movie. Then, you were obsessed with getting your own action figure. It was on the list since day one. Yeah, which made you super jealous when I got one before you did. Remember this? Are you still a little bit jealous? No. Are you sure? I think you're exaggerating how I reacted. <laughs> Really? Because that's not how I remember it. I saw the action figure of Red and guys, let's see some more WWE 2K20, my career mode, chapter 12. There are the iconics of the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Check it out, my first action figure. Pretty cool, right? Awesome. They really nailed the detail on your face. You didn't even really look at it. Yeah, well, you know what they say about action figures. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. Literally no one says that. Wait, are you jealous because you don't have one yet? No, I'm fine. Okay, look, I get it. This was more your thing, but it's just an action figure. It's more than that to me. Think of how you felt when I won a title in WWE before you did. It's like that, but ten times worse. Comparing titles to action figures might be a little extreme. But if it makes you feel any better, I'll wait and let you cross it off our list whenever you get one. No, it's fine. Cross it off. You earned it. I see you got your first action figure. We've had like 30 now, so it's kind of boring at this point. Where's yours? I think he didn't get one. <laughs> well, that's awkward. I think even like Tom Phillips got one. He doesn't really deserve it. <laughs> well, that's true. He's lucky even to be on the roster. <clears throat> Sorry, we got sidetracked with a private conversation that had absolutely nothing to do with you. But since apparently you don't have an action figure, we like to give you ours. Happy Rusev Day! Do you think he heard what we said? Who cares? He's a loser. <laughs> I heard he jerks and if I had an action figure of my own I'd team up with Red's action figure to kick your action figure stupid plastic butts or even better how about we take them down in real life huh oh yeah I guess we could do that action of Trey not getting his action figure before Red uh, Red was quite happy then. We saw Rusev and Lana. Rusev Day walk past and give Trey the Rusev and Lana elite figures. 
So guys, pick up the pace with the speed buff level 1 payback. Activate by holding R2 and pressing triangle. When active, your m movement speed and attack speed are increased. Hunker down. Use the tank buff payback to increase your defenses and take less damage. Let's see what is next for WW 2K20, my career mode, chapter 12. So guys, let's do this. Here we have a match on Monday Night Raw. And could it be what I think it is? Could it be a mixed tag match against Ruth today? But first, here comes Trey. Am I gonna let's see what type of match this is? Oh, it is what we think. It is a mixed tag team contest. We have Trey and Red, and here are their opponents. Oh my God, who will win this match? And in introducing Rusev, but Rusev is tag partner for this mixed match. Mixed tag match. His tag team partner. She is the ravishing Russian. Her name is Russian. Lana. So let's get into this two on two mixed tag match. What a drop kick. But no, look at this. Rusev on Trey. Oh my god, body slam. Oh my god, but look at Rusev just looking at the face, but no. Oh my god, running STO on Trey. Trey just being taken out. But no reversal kick to the midsection. Oh my god, just taking him down. What a shooting star press. Another shooting star, just look at this. The repetitive shooting star presses now, look at this. Look at Trey going. Going not to the top. Oh my god, what a kick right to Rusev and another shooting star press. Look at this. Trey can't go to the top rope. But no, he could be in trouble for the reversal. The reversal. But no, going go back into the ring. Oh my god, what an elbow! But Rusev will not go down without a fight! He's still standing! Rusev is still standing! Oh, but now in the corner. Oh my god, Irish from the corner of Red. Oh my god, Red almost being taken out. Now in the corner. But no, look at this tagging in. Red, but no, look at Red. Kick to the midsection of Lana. Look at this. Could this be it? For Lana, look at this. Going for the double suplex. Oh my god, just the impact. Oh my god. But no, look at this going to the top right. Oh, but the ref saying, her to go down, but now an elbow drop on Lana. Oh my god. Look at this. One elbow drop right to the chest of Lana. A raving, ravishing Russian could be in trouble in this match. But no, now tagging in Trey. Trey back in this match. What a clothesline to Rusev. But no, what are they going for? Oh my god, now this. Got once again for a suplex for the cover by Trey on Rusev. One, two, Three! Oh my god! Trey, Red, and Trey. Trey and Red with a victory over Rusev and Lana hitting the double suplex. Red hitting the suplex on Lana. Trey hitting the suplex on Rusev. Oh my god. They win this mixed match tag match. I know he's unhappy that he doesn't have a wrestling figure yet, but it is still good that he defeated Rusev and Lana. Rus. Sev. Day. Oh my god, what a victory. We saw that. Trey being tagged in from Red. Then the clothesline by both of them. And Red hitting the suplex on Lana. And Trey hitting the suplex on Rusev right at the same time. Then the cover by Trey would get him the one, two, three.
But don't really but you gain 20, my career. In all seriousness, even though it wasn't as important to me, it was pretty cool when not long after that, you got your first action figure and crossed it off our list. But the fact we had different priorities is partly what made this work, because let's be honest, if we'd been competing for the same things, I'm not sure we could have been friends. You were just always so driven to be the best. Maybe, but it's not like I was only focused on individual goals. Like, what about when we went to SmackDown Live and I ended up teaming with someone who was a great influence and mentor to me? I'm talking about Mickey James, of course! Stand up and take a bow, Mickey, you deserve it. Next for my career mode with Mickey James and Red on SmackDown in tag team competition. You fought hard, but it just wasn't your night. Let's face it, it hasn't been your night in a long time. Now, as general manager of SmackDown Live, it's my job to present a cutting edge product, which means constantly introducing new talent to keep our brand fresh and exciting. But we can't add new talent without making subtractions. So I'm sorry, Mickey, but based on your recent performance, you can either announce your retirement or unfortunately, I'll have to make that decision for you. Wait, so you're basically forcing her out? She deserves better than that. I understand where you're coming from, but like I said, this is bigger than one person. It's about protecting the brand. There would be no brand without women like Mickey James. You know what, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I've been doing this a long time and maybe I've lost a step. Maybe it's just time to hang it up. No, you can't just accept this. There has to be another way. Well, there is one other option, but it would just be delaying the inevitable. Mickey can continue competing on SmackDown Live as long as she wins. But the very next match she loses, is her last. She'll do it. I will. All right. Good luck. Look, I appreciate the support, but with my record as of late, I don't think I'll be sticking around too long. Or maybe you will with me by your side. Oh, what do you mean? Big Show didn't say you had to win singles matches. Are you sure you want to set aside your own goals to do this? There's nothing I'd rather do than protect your legacy by sending you out on a winning streak. And one last title run. Win women's tag team championships with Mickey James. going to be winning those WWE Women's Tag Team Champions with Mickey James at Super Showdown. So guys, let's get on this more WWE 2K20 Mike Rare Mode, Chapter 12. Welcome everyone to the most iconic talk show ever, Iconic Talk, with your hosts, The Iconics. We just said iconic so many times. You said it again. I think we just set a record. Speaking of records, I want to remind everyone that we are now the longest running women's tag team champions ever from Australia. They're also the only women's tag team champions from Australia. Which brings us to my favorite segment of iconic talk. It's time for why Australia is better. This is a part of the show where we educate our audience on different aspects of Australian culture and explain why Australia is better. Okay, what do we have this week? The great sport of cricket. Which has nothing to do with filthy little insects. No, it's actually a sport that is very popular in Australia. Think of it like a way better version of your horrible, dull baseball. To further educate you on this superior sport, let's go over the laws of cricket, shall we? There are only 
42 of them. Shouldn't take long. Law one. A cricket team consists of 11 players, including a captain. That's a great law. One of my favourites. Now, law two. Hey, what are these two doing out here? There were still 41 laws to go. I wanted to learn more about cricket. I think you were the Oh my god, it's Red and Mickey James. Law 2. The Iconics should never be allowed to have a talk show as it'll put everyone watching to sleep. That's not an actual law. Yeah, don't listen to her. Why are you two even out here? It's very rude to interrupt someone's talk show. I recommend you go back and watch this segment we did on Manners. We're here because we want a tag team championship match. So you two are a team now. <laughs> what are you calling yourselves? Red and gray? <laughs> because Mickey's so old. Get it? Hilarious. She really is a fossil. You've never even teamed before. So what makes you think you deserve a shot at our titles? Maybe because eight years ago in Calgary, I beat you in my very first match. And I've only gotten better since then. Way better. Oh, okay. So you're saying since a long time ago, I felt bad for my pathetic opponent and basically took the night off because I was freezing. That a decade later, when that pathetic opponent raised her ugly head with an elderly partner, they deserve a tag title opportunity? Makes sense. That was sarcasm. The answer is no. <laughs> if you think that we need to prove ourselves as a team, then we'll do it right now in a non-title match. If we win, we get a championship match. And if you win, you end my career. That whole career-ending stipulation is enticing. Yeah, I forgot about that. It would be nice to put her out to pasture. We'll do it. But only after we finish teaching everyone about cricket. Law three, never interrupt the Iconics. The Iconics viciously attack Red and Mickey with those cricket bats. And rightfully so, they violated law three. Red and Mickey are going to be at a severe disadvantage going into this match with so much at stake. Iconics have just attacked Red and Mickey James. Well, the opponent is down near the ropes. Superstars with dirty pin ability will be prompted to perform dirty pin with holding the circle. While the tactic is effective, if the referee catches you, uh, then he won't count the pin. It's got on this WWE 2K20, my career mode, chapter 12. Us, so we have tag team match, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics facing off against Red and Mickey James. If the Iconics win, Mickey James career will be over. But on this, I got one elbow drop from Billy Kay. As we saw at Winterfest in 2015, Red actually defeating Peyton Royce in her first ever match. One on what kicks to the back and look at the health of, of Billy Kay now on yellow damage, on yellow health. We've got yellow body damage on Billy Kay. Just look at the stomps by Red now just getting Billy Kay up. I don't know why she's getting her up. Oh my god, now Irish will bring her into the corner. What could she be going for? But the face of Billy Kay being driven into the turnbuckle. Oh my god, what a stomp right to Billy Kay. Oh my god, look at that. Her health is creeping down to red health. Oh my god, she could be in trouble. Oh my god, but no, look at this. Punch right to the back and look at this. Hurricane Rana to Billy Kay. Just look at the health. Creeping down to Red. Speaking of Red, that's who she is fighting right now. Just look at the health. Oh my god, knee to the back. Orange body damage for this. Now on Red. Health for the elbow right to the midsection. Reversal. Oh, what a scoop slam. Oh my god. 
The impact on that. But it's the elbows to Billy Kay. My God, yellow head damage. Benelius, what so is Billy Kay doing? Benelius putting her on the ropes. My God, reversal by Red with the arm drag. Oh my God, Benelius, what is she going for? Oh my God, taking up Peyton Royce. This is it for Billy K. Oh my God, now this. You don't have to do this, Red. Red, you don't have to do this. Now this, Billy K being put on the top rope. But no, here comes Red. Oh, but the punch by Billy K. But no, Red going up. The punch is right to the back. The punch is right to the back. Now this, the elbows to the back of the neck on Billy K. Payton Rose just watching, seeing what Red is doing. Oh my God, we've seen this before on Monday Night Raw. Evelyn Poison Runner! Oh my God, Peyton Royce. Right hand, right to the face. Cover on Billy Kay, that's it. One, two, three. Red and Mickey James have just defeated Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics. Oh my God. That means they will be getting a women's tag team championship uh, shot. And guys, when they were talking about Australian stuff, I didn't... It doesn't really help me because I am from Australia. I know what cricket is. It, yeah, it is basically just baseball, but cricket. Yeah. That's the bats that I actually used to hit the balls. Well, guys, let's get on more WWE 2K20, my career mode, chapter 12. That was awesome! And considering our lack of experience together, I'd say we make a pretty good team. I agree. I mean... You know what, I just wanna say thank you for doing this. I could be sitting at home right now, but instead we have a chance to win the tag team championships. And even if my career does end, this is a heck of a way to go out. Before you celebrate too much, we just found out your tag title match will be taking place on our home turf. That's right, in our great country, in front of our fans at Super Showdown. It doesn't matter, we'll beat you anywhere. Oh, you should also know it's going to be an Australian rules tag match, which are the most iconic rules. What does that even mean? It means it'll be no disqualification, tornado tag, or willy willy tag, as we say down under. Hey, Mickey, you should pack an extra week of clothes, you know, so you can go on holiday in Australia after we end your career. We'll call our grandparents and see if they know of any good senior resorts. <laughs> Just being insulted. Oh my God, super showdown guys. I was actually there live, it was, it was great. Well, guys, I'm actually going to end the video here. Well, guys, check out my Instagram. I'd like to see the king, guys. Have a like video. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the